Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Those of you who are regulars may have noticed when I brought this last load of um, stuff in here to dump that the arms for my tarp were secured to the side of the trailer. Well, I tried to roll the tarp up prematurely and I caught the only branch that was hanging down along the whole road leading into this farm. And that branch is a whole lot sturdier than what it looks like. Fortunately, it only broke the elbows and it didn't break the cross member. So I just had to get new elbows and the tarp was already messed up from when I bought the trailer. So it was only a matter of time before I replaced it anyway. Unfortunately, I just had to replace more components than just the tarp itself. So here's all the components I need to replace on the tarp. Of course, you got the tarp itself and then the two elbows and they include new nuts and bolts. So that's a good thing. But of course, nothing is ever as easy as it needs to be. Now I bought the trailer used, so I don't know what tarp system this is on the trailer. There's no type of identifier, no numbers, part number, you know, no uh, manufacturer's name or anything along here. So first I went to part store, uh, Northern Virginia Supply and said, hey, you know, you got any tarp elbows? He had one, it was similar, but it was different. It was a US tarp system elbow and they have a different shape. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have went into my pole. So I did some searching myself on the internet. Uh, then there's another parts heavy uh, truck parts store in this area called Heavy Fleet uh, in Manassas. Uh, and I went to them and I showed them the broken elbow and the guy looked at it and you know, first question he asked, okay, so what system is it? I said, I don't know, good question. Uh, you know, it's not a, a roll right uh, US tarp system. Uh, and there's another one out there that escapes me right now, but uh, that's, a, that's what they put all on the newer uh, trucks that come out. Uh, you know, they got the flip tarp, they got the side, they got different systems uh, for your rollbacks. Um, so all types of combinations out there. But surprisingly, this guy was able to look it up. He, he put it up in his system and sure enough, he found the right one. So this tarp system is a Cromero and he was able to find the part number, the manufacturer, but he didn't have any on, on stock. But he sent me to another set of folks out in Maryland called Cullen's Tarp. And that's all they do is tarps. So sure enough, I said, hey, this is the part number I need. And I told him it was, a, you know, and first thing he said was, yeah, US Tarp, uh, roll right. And I said, no, it's neither one of those. I said, it's a Cromero. He recognized the name, but he said, we don't stock any. So we'll have to have it drop ship. Uh, gave him the card number. And the next day I had the new tarp and the two elbows sitting in the driveway. So it's good to, when you have some knowledgeable parts, you guys, <laughs> that you have ac access to. Otherwise, you can waste a lot of time and worse money uh, trying to fit stuff up. Now, push came to shove. I knew, I do know a couple of welding shops. Um, we could have had these fabricated. Uh, like I said, because I have all the old components, just a matter of making it work. But I was able to find the right ones at a decent price. So now that I have my parts, next thing we do is get my tools out. And now if you're a company guy, you know, you can always call and I'll send a service truck out. Uh, but when you're an owner-operator, it pays to have a set of tools with you at all times. Stuff happens. 
So I believe this is a half inch. Yeah. Now, as I mentioned, I don't have the cross member, so I'll just put these bolts in here temporarily until uh, I come back maybe tomorrow and uh, put the cross member in. Not California hot, but it is hot out here.
that part's done. Now let's see if I get this tarp on. So now I'm gonna unroll that old tarp, which is all, like I say, it was, I think might've been my first load of, I know it was my first load of brush. Uh, it got snagged on a branch and ripped all the way down the middle but it was it was a little tore up before that so like I say it was it was due to get swapped out it just uh, sooner or rather than just replace the tarp like I wanted to add that replace a couple more pieces but enough wanting now it's just time to make it happen See if we can jam that back in there. Then get this in the slide right on out. Let's see here. Yep. All right, now the old one's off. Fairly easy. See if we can get the new one up in there. Not mess out.
cuddled in down here, you see, that's where the cross members go through at the back of the trailer. See, he's got a pocket and it's reinforced. We're allowed to go through and just slide right through there. All right, folks, so even though the new tarp doesn't have the pocket for this to slide through, you can still use this nylon and, and groove to put it in there. You, you just need the right tool or a tool to stuff the net down in there while you push the nylon through. and that'll lock it in there. Again, the key is take your time so you keep your mesh square and even. And I just, I just happen to have this small prior bar in there, but a blunt screwdriver or a, a small punch. You just want something with a blunt, a blunt edge so you don't punch holes in your mesh. And it's not going anywhere. And I really don't need the excess. And I don't want that catching and pulling itself out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. But I will hang on to this excess and put it in the truck. Because I ever need some more for whatever reason. So the new one is secured in there. But I like to reinforce it. So I'm going to throw some bungee straps on it. Just another layer of securing.
And there we have it. Now, so I don't have the cross member on there, so I'm not gonna roll it up. Cause when you roll it, you wanna keep that tension on there and not to keep it as flat as possible, smooth as possible, and not have it bunching up, which will cause, cause all your bonding. That was a whole lot easier than I expected. When I changed these on my other dump trucks, trying to get that cross member at the right angle as the elbow while trying to hold the arm up when you get the spring and the tension going back. I had to make you say a few choice words. But this wasn't bad at all. Well, folks, there you have it. I replaced the tarp and the two elbows on my flip tarp system for my dump trailer. Again, 
This particular system is a Camaro, but I think the tarps themselves are universal. But when you get into the components, then you have to go, you know, find that more than likely, but find that uh, specific manufacturer, a uh, U.S. tarp, roll right, uh, the two, like I said, that uh, popped to mind. Uh, but there's several out there. So if you know who your manufacturer is, call them direct. If not, uh, you know, you know, you may have to do some shopping around or searching. Um, all in all, maybe about an hour, hour and a half job, depending on the tools and whether or not you got some help. And my challenge is always getting that cross member connected to the elbows. Because once you get it on one side, it's locked in there, and you got to get the other bar at the right angle. Um, it, it helps if you have two people. The dump trailer, due to its length, was a little easier than all my straight trucks. Um, but again, fairly simple, simple so process. So if you get it, got anything out of this video and you like it or you got some pointers, you know, be sure to click subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. If I can answer it, I will. Uh, if there's anything I can help you with, I'll try that too. Thank you, and I'll catch you on the next one.